Hi everybody, are you ready to create? Today we're going to make our own fantasy castle. All you need is some paper and a pencil and some pictures of castles for inspiration. Now we're going to divide our paper in half very lightly and draw a horizon. Horizon is an imaginary line where the castle is going to sit on. And then I'm putting some little dots to mark off the edge of the pa paper so I know how big my castle is going to be. Now, uh, castles are generally symmetrical, that means they're the same on each side. I'm doing a very light sketch of my castle. I'm taking elements from uh, castles that I like, but I'm just making it up uh, with the different elements. Uh, I've stopped uh, my castle being symmetrical at this point, and I'm just adding odd bits that I fancy my castle being. So there's different, there's medieval parts, there are uh, later parts as well, more like renaissance parts. So my castle is a mixture of different architecture. Once I've done my light sketch, I'm just adding a thicker line so that I can see what I've done and I'm adding a bit of stone detail and some um, shadows to make it a little bit more 3D and so that I can see what, I'm, what I've actually drawn a little bit better. And then I might rub out some parts that I'm not sure about and uh, just improve it as I go along, adding some flying buttresses and um, also a bit of background. And there we have my outline castle. Now you could stop here and that'd be a great drawing, but I'm gonna add color because I have a bit of time and I think it's really gonna make a great picture. So just adding some watercolor quickly, some blue, some background first. Then it dry a little bit and then I'm adding the kind of stone colors. So I'm have, I mix some whites and browns and yellows together. I'm adding a bit of uh, highlights of different colors. I'm doing the roof, etc. To finish it off, I added a black outline because I thought we I missed some uh, of the details. You don't have to do that. It was just a uh, it's just an option if you want to make it a bit crisp. And here is my finished fantasy imaginary castle. I can't wait to see yours. Have fun. Bye.